If you're thinking about moving to Franklin, Tennessee and your price range is 400 to 500,000, this video is for you. I'm going to show you several sold homes based on information from Realtrax, that's our MLS here, from May 14th to June 14th. I'm required to tell you that by MLS rules. All sold, all in Franklin and all under $500,000. We're going to talk about the housing type, the square footage, the age, the days on market, what it was listed for, and then what it was sold for. That's going to be pretty good. We'll see interior pictures to get a sense of what the house is really like. And then we'll take a look at the neighborhood and I'll tell you what I know about it. So I hope you enjoy this new format. And if you do, subscribe and leave me a comment. Tell me maybe what I can do better. But um, in the meantime, let's uh, move on to looking at some houses. <laughs> All right, so the first one that we're going to look at, and you'll, this will make sense here in a second, is going to be, um, this is going to be an existing home. That means it's existing. It's not new built. And it's going to be residential site built, stick built, right? It's not a condo townhome or anything like that. Um, the uh, square footage is going to be 1244,000. The list price was 415. The sales price was 432. So what that what that means is that more than likely there was multiple offers, there almost almost had to be on that um, in order to go from 415 to 432. It was only on two days on the market, and I bet we're going to see why. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, it was built in 1986. Um, and so we got all that. Let's look at the inside. Pretty clean looking. It's a, like I said, built in 86. So don't expect, you know, it's not brand new. Um, no driveway, meaning there's no aggregate around here in Tennessee. Most of the time you'll see either concrete or aggregate. But look how clean this thing is. Again, it's 1986. What do we expect from that? Nice. I know I'm going to go fast, but if you want to see these pictures again, you can go, you can rewind and stop the, stop the video. But here's the reason this sold so fast. Let's look at all of them. The reason it sold so fast was it's like move in ready. This is, this is a great looking house. This is a great looking house. Bear with me. Look at that. I wonder if that stuff came with it. We'll see. The uh, dishwasher dryer, well, yeah, the washer and dryer came with it. Um, pretty nice. So let's look at, what was there? Something else I was going to look at. Can't remember. Move on. <clears throat> let's look at this neighborhood here. This is the neighborhood. Now see, here's what you've got here. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be Mac Hatcher right here. Liberty Pike. Okay. And then here's, um, if you're not familiar with the area, Franklin is down this way and this is Cool Springs. And so this is right off of, um, Liberty Pike. Let's draw in close and look at this neighborhood. It's one of these houses over here. Nice. Nice area. It's a nice house. And that's so that explains why um, this sold so fast is because it's in such great condition. So let's move on to the next house. Oh, let's go to a condo. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I like these over here. So this is going to be a condominium. It's going to be a flat. And this is over in a place called McKay's Mill. McKay's Mill is pretty densely populated. Um, it's got, um, um, it's really densely populated. So, uh, if you don't like that kind of a thing, then McKay's Mill may or may not be the place for you. Um, the square footage on this one is going to be 1,352 square feet. Uh, it was built in 07, so it's kind of new, newish, right? Um, was on the market 17 days. It was listed at 
415. It sold at 415. And if I'm not mistaken, the contract to close days, that means it was listed the, the day it got under contract to close was only 23 days. So that was pretty quick. So let's take a look at this condo. This is 415. Remember, it's the same, it was listed same price as that single family home over there on Liberty or next to Liberty. So let's take a look at this and see what we got. Real nice pictures, bracketed photographs. This is a nice, and it's gonna be one of these end units, I believe. <clears throat> but this is just a real nice. It's a little bit older. It's built in 07. Now, I'm going to guess, I'm pretty familiar with these types of camera shots, that looks really, really orange. When you see it in person, it's not going to be quite that orange. It's not going to be that way. Um, but but there's a condo, and I wonder what the... Um, association fee. So this is going to be $289 a month on top of whatever your mortgage is, you know, so you have to kind of be ready for that. Let's, um, let's look at the neighborhood again. This is McKay's mill kind of dense. Now what, what I want you to notice here, you see all this ground over here and everything. This is because of Google maps, it doesn't update all that often that is like all built up, you know, so that's not, that's not accurate. But here's the property right here. And this is, I mean, look at how close it is to the park. And then we're going to be on, I believe this is McEwen. Yep. And McEwen, trying to do this as quickly as possible here. Uh, McEwen will take you over to Mallory, and this is going to be um, Mallory Lane's going to take you all the way up to Cool Springs Galleria. So this is just the reason I'm telling you that McKay's Mill is so densely populated. This is McKay's Mill, and it's like they've stuffed a lot of people in there. Beautiful place. So I mean, they've done a good job, but you have to be into that. And you, there's shopping and all that kind of stuff there. It's good. Um, it's good for that. So let's go back to the next one. See what we got. Let's look at this Carter subdivision. <clears throat> this is going to be built in 09, a residential site built, meaning single family home. It was on the market one day. One day. That's pretty good. Uh, it was listed at 425. Sold at 425. Contract closed was just 25 days. So they basically put it on the market and it sold just right away. And I'll bet you that the reason, of course, is going to be it's like move in quality, move in ready. It's ready to go. Um, make sure I'm remembering things here. Uh, days on market. Yeah, final sale. Got it. Okay. All right. So let's look at the inside. Again, the even though there's the inventory is low and prices are high, there's a lot of houses. There's a lot more. Um, there's a lot older inventory on the market because some things aren't selling very fast because what they're doing is they're overpricing the house and they don't fix it up. Well, here's a great example of a house that's fixed up just beautifully. I mean, I love those colors and it's a small house. It's only about a thousand square feet. Let me look again. It's about a thousand. Yeah, a thousand eleven hundred square feet. Not too terribly large. Um, doesn't have a garage, has carport, but the inside is just fixed up beautifully. I mean, they've just they've done a beautiful job. And so let's see what let's see what the neighborhood looks like. Now, if you're not familiar with Franklin, let's see where this is. Oh, okay. Here's downtown. I'm sure you can see that. Here's downtown Franklin, like the Starbucks and all that kind of stuff. But this is the older part of Franklin. 
at least I, I, it, I, I see it that way. This is sort of the older, older part of town, but it's still really nice. So let's pull this up. That was interesting. So here's what this neighborhood looks like if you're driving through it. I love this feature. This is good. This is what, and this is what, what did I say, four and a quarter. This is what four and a quarter gets you in Franklin, which, that's not impossible. I mean, you hear these crazy median numbers, and the the median numbers are crazy. I mean, like six, eight hundred thousand. It's it's crazy. But my point is, and the reason I'm doing this video like this, and I'm going to do it for a, a lot of different price ranges, five, six, six to seven, and on and on. <clears throat> you can get a good house for four and a quarter. So I mean. That's pretty good. I think that's our third or fourth one. Let's do, um, let's do, let's do Aspen Grove. The reason I'm doing this is these are condos, but they're really, I see them as really nice. Um, again, it's condo, it was built in 07, 39 days on the market, 1400 square feet. It was listed at 434.9. It sold for 439. That's what I'm seeing there. And it looks like contract to close was 64 days. Hmm, don't really understand how that could be. Plus, there's a story and a half. That doesn't make sense, but I bet we're going to find out. Let's look at the pictures. This is a, um, they're nice apartments. I mean, they're, I see that they were apartments and they turned them into condos. I could be wrong. I could absolutely be wrong, but this is how they look. And they're just, they're really nice. I mean, it's uh okay. That's a loft. They're really clean, nice. And if you don't know the area, yeah, see, that's an apartment like I'm familiar with. And if you don't know this area, it's right off of cool Springs Boulevard, right across the street from Aspen Grove Park, which I go there a lot and walk. It's right down, there's a river there. There we go. <clears throat> Here's Aspen Grove Park. <clears throat> and, and you get there, you walk through, the, the river is just beautiful. But here's what this is. And this right over here is Cool Springs. And Cool Springs, I mean, there's just tons of shopping. I mean, just tons of restaurants and shopping. And you go up the street and the next thing you know, um, you are uh, at um, the Cool Springs Galleria. But this is what the parkside, these condos look like. This is what you get for, what did we say it was? 439, 1400 square feet. Now the um, association feet, a little high, 447, it's a little much, but, but that's what you got. I, I just wanted to show you that because it's kind of nice. And we're going to go, we're going to do a, one final one. I wanted to show you a couple of examples. You can see this here. I know that's pretty small. Um, in, in a couple of examples where the asking price was high and they settled for low. So this one was 469. It sold for 449. But we're going to, the final one we're going to do because I don't want this to go on too long, is this one. It's 500,000, it maxes out. I mean, I did the four to 500,000. It was on the market, 63 days. It was listed at 500,000. Uh, it finally sold for 482, which that explains that 63 days because they were resistant taking anything less than 500 for a, quite a period of time. 1724 square feet built in 1958 so you get these get the make sure you get these things inspected um and but and we don't know at all what the inside of this looks like so um let's look at this very nice it's nicely done i'm telling you this is this another this is way it shows way more orange than it actually is so I'm just telling you. <clears throat> but how, look how clean this is. Every example. And I have not 
pre-screened these for you at all. I was just looking based on the grid. All of these, and it seems like people have learned their lesson, that all of these are move-in ready. Move-in ready. Now, this one was clearly overpriced as it was 500. It was built in 1958. I mean, come on, that's that's a little bit older. Um, nice little yard. I bet that's, what, probably half an acre at least. Back deck. Let's Now, let's look at the... Uh, Again, this is this is the south. This I, I call it the south south end of of Franklin, because here's the main. There's the center of town. And the, if you were to whoop, if you were to go, this is where the town circle is, town square they call it here. But here's this this little house. Again, it's older neighborhood, but look how clean it is. I mean, that's why Franklin. You see, there's pretty good. You can see that pretty good. It's better than better than my drone. <clears throat> but this is what the living is like in Franklin. What's the, what's the size of the square footage on this? It's just a quarter of an acre, but it sure looks bigger than that. You know, got some elbow room. So this is this is my first shot at doing. Um, one of these recorded live deals on showing a price range. Again, um, the uh, and I want to I want to explain a couple of things before I before I check out um, the um, the reason I'm using sold homes on this is again that's a, it's an MLS rule. I can't show you actives. I, I'm not allowed to do that. But for using the price range, if we were to look at active properties. The, the the price they've got on active properties is just a theory because as we've seen the 500 was listed five but it sold for 482 and there was others that were listed at a higher price and they sold for less some sold for more but the but the point is when they're listed and active you never know where they're going to end up but when it's sold it's fact so listing price is theory sold price is fact um, but again, that's MLS rules that I have to follow. And um, something else, one other point too. You may think that there's a clicking or ticking clock on these prices. The fact is, again, they went from May to June the 14th, and today is the 14th, because home price growth has been so slow over the past few months. You know, it's like 1.4%. You're going to see these prices stay pretty consistent, I'm sure, throughout the summer. So don't think that if I did a, a four to five hundred in in a month from now, it's going to be totally different. It'll be new houses, but it's not going to be a whole new category of house. It's just not because home prices just aren't growing that much. I know I'm rambling on. This is new to me, so sorry. It's just the way it's going to be. Um, if you've been trying to figure out what uh, living in Franklin is going to be like, um, I'm pretty sure if you follow along in this video, this is going to give you an idea. And I'm going to do more between five and six, and I'm sure I'm going to get better and get smoother at it. But thanks for being with me, and uh, um, I'm enjoying this. I think it's going to work. See ya. <laughs>